All right. Hey guys, how is everyone? Hopefully everyone is doing well. This is your first time checking out my channel. What is up guys? My name is Amy. If you're returning, oh, welcome in guys. Please do me a favor. If you haven't already, please smash that like button, support me and my channel. Also hit that notification bell. I always screw up there. Um, so you guys know when to go live and when I'm uploading new videos and also subscribe, join our family. We have an amazing soul family here. I'm so grateful and loved by the community here. So please join us. We're always welcoming new people in. So I know tomorrow is going to be extremely busy for me, but I wanted to make sure I get the, at least this video out once this week. I am behind on my videos from last week. Just things have just been taken off this week. Um, but so I'm going to check in and see what's going to be going on with you guys in the next 24 to 48 hours. I'm going to do this by Zodiac. So I'm going to go from Aries to Pisces. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't resonate, guys. And we're just going to get started here. Feel free to time stamp in the bottom um, your Zodiac if you want to. All right. Aries. Hello, babes. Let's see what's going on for you. What is coming towards Aries? You got a wake-up call coming towards you guys. The judgment is just flying in here. Um, so you got a wake-up call coming through. I also feel like you are going through a huge spiritual transformation right now huge spiritual awakening. I feel like this is the kind of feeling of something coming to light. Like, I don't know if you've been pondering about something Aries or going back and forth on something, but it's kind of that energy of like, all right, what's going on here, right? Like, I feel like you've been pondering or going back and forth on something. And I just feel like this feeling of something coming around, something making sense in the next couple of days here, where it's like, you either go towards something or you walk away from something. You, you know, you go back towards a situation or you decide that you're going to go into a new situation. Whatever this is, whatever this push and pull energy is that I'm feeling Aries for you, it's literally my feeling of um, you needing to decide kind of what's best for you. But also, you know, I, I hear forgiveness is coming through, but maybe you want forgiveness from someone in the next 24 hours too. Next 24 to 48 hours. What else that can I tell Aries, please? What else can I tell Aries? Yeah, I definitely feel like in the next couple of days here, you guys are going to be in your feelings, the five of cups. I don't feel, I, I feel like you're paying a lot of attention to what is leading a life, but you're not really focused on what's ahead. And I feel like you're feeling a little bit alone, abandoned right now, maybe disappointed about a situation, maybe feeling a little bit stuck about a situation too. You're not really moving, but you are moving. It, it just feels like maybe things aren't happening for you, but you know, I feel like kind of take the time you need to kind of work through what is causing all of this feeling for you, Aries, as you're moving forward in the next 24 hours. Yeah, the four of cups up here. Some of you are bored. I feel like spirit, is, spirit has been giving you guys opportunities or presenting things with you and you're not taking it right now. Whether this is a love offer, a job offer or a situation, it's kind of like you're just sitting there like, do I take this? Do I not take this? You know, you're kind of, again... I meditate on what it is you truly want right now, but I definitely feel like whoever this is, you know, there's, a, yeah, you're really in your head, Aries, you know, you're really deciding if you made the right decision about something that could exactly be it. Did I make the right decision about a situation? And I feel like you're in your head about this. For some of you, you're thinking about a situation at night. I have the night up here. Um, you're feeling trapped or stuck. Like I said, in a situation, you don't know how to get out of it. I feel like whatever the spiritual shift is, it's definitely going, it's definitely, it's like you're getting clarity in some way, right? Where it's like, okay, I don't like where I am. How do I, how do I move away from that? So I definitely feel like your overall message is that you're going to be in your head in the next 24 hours to 48 hours. Okay, Aries, that resonates. Hit that like button, guys, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys again soon. All right, Taurus. Hey, Taurus, how's it going? What is um, Taurus's message for the next 24, 48 hours, please? What does Taurus need to hear? Four cards. What does Taurus need to hear? Taurus, you got a new beginning up ahead. I feel like you're taking a leap on something. I feel like there's been a situation where you're like, you know what? I've got one foot in, one foot, of the, one foot in and one foot out in a situation. But you're kind of in this place where you're like, you know what? I, as much as I would go back and change things, I know I can only move forward now. So I feel like this moving forward, you know, having hope for something else or having hope that things will work out and just deciding that you're going to take a leap of faith in something. 
you're going to move forward with something. So I really love that for you. I really, I feel like you guys are really truly embarking on what's ahead of like for you up there. Yeah. You've been stuck for a really long time, Taurus, in a situation. Like, do I stay? Do I go? You know, you've been tangled up in something. And I, and I feel like there's a new, new beginning up ahead here where it's like, okay, you know, I can untangle myself. There might be, you know, here where in the next 24 hours, you get a different perspective about something. Yeah, the high Pisces is up here too. So there could be secrets that come out. But this is really a time period, um, Taurus, where the next 24 to 48 hours, listen to your intuition, listen to your gut. You know, kind of what I was saying on some of the readings today, if you're a female, we females have that woman intuition for a reason. If you're a male, I feel like spirit is coming through literally saying like, pay close attention to what's being presented. Taurus 555 is an angel number. It might be significant for you. And then the seven of cups, I feel like a lot of things are being, you're giving, you're being giving opportunities, Taurus, um, in the next little bit here. And I feel what I'm hearing is that there's a lot coming towards you, but a lot still needs to be worked out. So maybe you're sidetracked by something right now. And I feel like you just need to kind of go within, listen to your, what your gut's telling you in the next 24 hours and listen to your, what your intuition is telling you. Okay. You know what you need and you know what you want. And that's what I'm going to say there. So that resonates guys. Thank you so much for being here. Hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. All right. Hey, Jamma Jams. How's it going? How are you guys doing, babes? All right, Geminis, what is going on with Gemini in the next 24 to 48 hours, please, Spirit? What is happening with Gemini in the next 24 to 48 hours, please? What is happening with Gemini? Whew, you're healing, Gemini. Queen of Cups came out. You are healing. You're going through this period of, like, you know, really starting to trust your intuition, really starting to listen to your heart right now. I feel like you're moving forward with this sense of, like, okay, I know who I am. And I feel like that confidence that... You know, that confidence is really coming out in you. And I think people are starting to notice that, Gemini. And I feel like in the next 24 to 48 hours, you might be seen as being a very compassionate person or it's like you're coming across as being a very supportive person. So you might be getting compliments about people saying, you know what, they're very grateful for you or they're very thankful for you. So I like that, Gemini. I think that's very sweet. All right. What else is coming towards Gemini in the next 24 to 48 hours, please? What's coming towards Gemini in the next 24 to 48 hours, please? Um, the fool card, Gemini's. Yeah, taking that leap of faith, moving forward, you know, embarking on a new beginning of something, listening to your heart when it comes to a situation. You know, I feel like you've been kind of pondering, do I stay? Do I go? And you're kind of just in this energy now of like, you know what? I just want to be happy. And I love that for you, Gemini, because I feel like this has been a long time coming. And so the fact that you're recognizing that no matter what, at the end of the day, you just want to be happy. You want to have peace. You want to embark on a new beginning. Um, I think is a beautiful thing for you. So what else can I tell Gemini, please? The death card, you're going through a lot of transformations. There is a new beginning up ahead for you. Um, new beginnings, transformations, something is ending. Spirit is kind of saying, if you've been feeling like you need to move on from something, this may be in the next like couple hours, you kind of realize like, you know, you're making the right decision for you to move away, to walk away from something or someone that's not giving you exactly what you want. Maybe there was a situation, Gemini, that you were stuck in and you're kind of like, I don't know if I should stay and make this work or if I should, you know, walk away. I feel like within the next kind of couple of days here, you're making that decision to say, you know what, I know what's best for me right now. And dealing with you or being in a situation with you it is not where I want to be. I mean, I'm going to put this out there and say for some of you, it could be that, um, you want to have a relationship with someone and you see a new beginning of a relationship with someone, but maybe you've been feeling stuck. So take that however it resonates, but that's what I'm getting for you, Gemini. So I definitely feel like that's a beautiful message because I think the overall message there is that Gemini, you're listening to your heart for once and you're realizing, you know, that you are so much more worthy of maybe what you settled for. So I love that for you guys. Okay. All right. Cancer. What is Cancer's message for the next 24 hours, Spirit? What is Cancer's message for the next 24 hours? What does Cancer need to hear for the next 24 hours? Cancer, you're at a crossroad right now. You need to make a decision what's best for you. Some of you may be traveling or waiting on a result of something or leaving something behind, but you need to take that first step. You need to take that first step. Whatever direction you're going, I feel like this is that time period where it's like really decide what it is you need in your life right now. Really decide where it is you're going. Because I feel like only you can really make that choice. Yeah, the hermit's coming through. 
you know, take this time for you. I think that's the biggest thing is like, take this time for you. Know that you're deserving of great things. Know that you're deserving of the happiness that you want. Know that you're deserving of the money. You're deserving of the career, the job. But take this time to reflect on what it is that you need. And I feel like when you do that, when you really, really realize what you need, three of cups, you will start manifesting that happiness towards you. You're going to be happy. Some of you could be going to some type of social event in the next two days, three days. Could be meeting someone at a social event. But some of you, you know, you've poured so much into other people that I feel like in the next couple of days, you're like, you know what? I'm just going to pour into me. And I love that cancer. I love the fact that you're recognizing that, you know what? It's about damn time I poured into me. So, wow, I love this. Take as much time as you need cancer to make a decision because I feel like at the end of the day, you got to do what's best for you, okay? Anything else I can tell cancer, please? Anything else I can tell cancer? Yeah, you're moving on from something. Eight of cups with a wheel card. You're moving on from something. There could be a soulmate on your energy. But I feel like some cycle is coming to an end for you. And, you know, I feel like on the other side of that cycle is a lot of happiness for you. But you got to take that first step in deciding that this connection or this relationship, you know, it's either not serving you anymore or it's like, you learned what you needed to learn, and now it's time to move forward. So I love that for you, Cancer. Let me know if that resonates for you guys. All right, Leo. Hey, Leo, babes. How are you? All right. It's moving, moving, moving. Um, what does Leo need to know in the next 24 to 48 hours? I feel like you're putting your head down with this Eight of Pentacles here, Leo. You're kind of putting your head down and kind of being really focused. I don't know if you're focused on money work, career, school, but it's like, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to put my head down. I'm going to study. You know, I'm going to focus on what I need to focus on because I'm putting myself first. I'm putting my, my future, you know, like I just feel like you're very focused, very focused at this time. Yeah. The queen of cups. I feel like you're really taking care of you. You're really seeing yourself as being a very like, um, healing person. So maybe you've gone through a lot of healing or you are still going through a lot of healing, but it's like, you're really taking yourself, you're really taking care of yourself. And I saw two, 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 that might be an angel number for some of you, but I just feel a sense of like, you're really taking care of yourself. You're really in this place of being like, okay, I'm going to take care of me. You're listening to your intuition. You're listening to your heart. It's like you're looking forward towards your future, but you know, you're pouring into you. And I think that's the biggest thing here is like, I, I feel like you're pouring a lot into you, Leo. What else can I say for Leo? Yeah, there's an opportunity of something coming towards you with the King of Cups here, where I feel like because you're taking that time for you and you're doing a lot of reflection, and a lot of healing, people are, you know, noticing that they're noticing that about you. They're noticing you're a very like supportive person, very compassionate. You're taking a more <laughs> leadership role in your life is kind of what I heard. The seven of wands is up here as well. So there might be a bit of conflict going on in your life right now. You might feel like the need to like defend yourself against someone or someone. There may be an opportunity to coming through in the next couple of days where it's like you get to speak your truth. But I also feel like you may be blocking your blessings. So try not to block your blessings right now. Try to not come from a place of fear. I saw three through three might be an angel number for you guys as well, where I just feel like, you know what, maybe the past didn't work out, but your future is so bright and all you have um, focus on is the now. So if that resonates, guys, let me know. All right. Hey, Virgos, how's it going? How are you guys doing? Let me get you a message here. All right. What is Virgo's message for the next 24 to 48 hours? Please, Spirit, what is Virgo's message for the next 24 to 48 hours? What is Virgo's message for the next 24 to 48 hours? You're going to be in your head, four of swords. I feel like not only are you going to be in your head, Virgo, but you need to rest. You might be doing too much. You might be trying to figure out this, figure out that, work through that, work out through this, trying to like take on too much, trying to decide so much, like just all of this different energy, like where do I go from here, right? I'm feeling like spirit kind of coming through and saying like, take your rest, work through what you need to work through. You're going to get the answers and clarity you need about a situation with the Ace of Swords coming through. So there might be some truth or some clarity that's coming towards you in the next 24 to 48 hours. 444 four, four, might be a significant number for you, page of wands. Yet you're moving forward in a situation, though. I feel like when you decide to stop being in your head with the Five of Cups here, when you stop being in your head, when you take that time for you to go within, you're going to get the answers that you're seeking. You're going to get the clarity that you're seeking. 
keep moving forward because I feel like this is a time period for you to be courageous and brave. With a page of page of wands here, it's about being excited for what's ahead. You could be wanting to start a new project or something, but not sure how to get it off the ground. It might be that the answers that you are seeking are within. So if any of that resonates, please let me know. Please like in the comments, guys, and enjoy the next couple days here. All right, Libra. Uh, what is um what is Libra's message for the next 24 to 48 hours, please, Spirit? What's Libra's message? Things are delayed in your life right now, um, Libra, but they're delayed for a reason. So Spirit is literally saying that you need to have patience right now. Kind of sit down on the waiting room is kind of a joke that I have going on with uh, my subscribers when I do my lives is that some of us are literally sitting in the waiting room right now waiting for life to happen. Not waiting for life to happen, but it's like we know that we're meant to be in love, but we're we're, we're in the waiting room waiting for it to happen. All right, Seven of Pentacles. Yes, things are delayed. Try not to worry too much about it. You're in this harvest period, this growth period. The waiting will prove to be worthy is what I just heard. What else can I say? Um, yeah, the moon card. There's a lot going on behind the scenes that you're not seeing right now. For some of you, this could lead to, you know, someone being deceptive towards you or hiding a secret from you. But I'm really not seeing that. I mean, if the story fits, then it fits. But I'm more still seeing, Libra, that there's a lot going on that you're not seeing right now. And with the Empress that flew out to this, you're co-creating something. You are putting down newer seeds, which I feel are in more of alignment of where you are in your life. So I'm really loving that for you, Libra, because I feel like you're kind of, yeah, you're kind of healing. You're taking this time to be like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to sit and I'm just not going to be in control of things. And I'm just going to be in this energy of, you know, just letting things be, you know, there's for some of you, there's a soulmate closed or there's a soulmate coming in. And I feel like you're just going through this very calm healing I'm going to take care of me, period. And you're really working through the things that once triggered you. And I feel like you're going to start seeing a difference in yourself in the next couple of days here. But I love that message for you guys. Please continue to take care of you guys. It's so important. All right, Scorpio. I know Scorpio's in here because they want that tea. Scorpio wants that tea. They're like, give me that tea, Amy. <laughs> what does Scorpio need to know in the next 24 to 48 hours? All right, so you're definitely getting a wake-up call. We got the judgment coming through. I feel like I'm also feeling guided to say, like, you may have had a situation with someone or you may be coming into a situation with someone where it's like, you know what, you don't understand why this person's acting a certain way towards you, but it's like spirit, spirit coming through and saying, forgive this person. You're not condoning their behavior towards you, but you're saying that I forgive you for you so I can heal and move on. For some of you, there is a um a wake up call here first yeah you're just ten of swords is also up here you're closer than you think to something great is what i'm hearing for you scorpio some of you may feel like life is not happening for you you hit rock bottom there's no way up but honestly when you're at rock bottom the only way to go is back up right so sit with how you're feeling but in a way of realizing you are exactly where you are supposed to be, Scorpio, okay? You have opportunities coming towards you, Nine of Cups. If it is a message you're waiting, you do have messages coming in with the Page of Swords. If it's a person, I do feel like, you know, someone may be coming in unexpectedly with um, an opportunity or a text message or a call, but this is Ace of Wands. This is taking your power back, Scorpio, in the next couple hours here. So I love this for you because I feel like no matter what, no matter what negative energy or what the devil throws at us or whatever their circumstances is, right? Um, you can choose to keep going even when you are faced with this with this type of situation or conflict or whatever that is. Scorpio, you can choose to move forward. And I feel like you will choose to take that power back and you will choose to stand up and fight for yourself. And I feel like that's a beautiful message to get is that no matter what you go through, you grow through it, right? So very beautiful, guys. Hopefully that resonated. All right. Sagittarius. So what's up, honeys? All right. What is the message for Sagittarius the next 24? Ooh, you got money coming towards you. Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, I actually feel like you could be winning the lottery or getting an inheritance 
or it's just like the wealth is improving. The money is improving. What else is coming towards? Um, yeah, moving forward on something. I feel like you have a passion for something. And um, I feel like money is going to be, it's interesting, Sagittarius, because I feel like money is actually going to help you move to the next level with this, whatever this is. Maybe it's a project or something. But for some of you, someone either has a lot of passion for you or it's like you are embarking on something new passionate. Something new passionate. You're embarking on a new passion. Yeah, you're co-creating something with the Empress coming up here. Some of you may be finding out you're pregnant or doing something to do with fertility. Maybe you're taking your money and doing something with fertility. Maybe you're waiting on some money to do something with fertility. I don't really get that all the time, but that could be a message for someone in the next couple of days, Sagittarius. But I would definitely say you're co-creating exactly what it is you want. There's going to be a text message <clears throat> or some type of communication coming in, phone call, email from someone or some news is on the horizons here for you over the next couple of days. Someone might be spying on you or gossiping, gossiping about you too. So just be cautious of that. But pretty good message, Sagittarius. So let me know how that resonates. All right, Capricorn. What is Capricorn's energy in the next 24 to 48 hours, please? What is Capricorn's energy in the next 24 to 48 hours? <clears throat> what is Capricorn's energy in the next 24? Three of Cups. I feel like happiness is coming towards you. I feel like maybe for a while it, it just felt like you were never going to be happy or find happiness, but maybe happiness is coming towards you. <clears throat> maybe, I'm <clears throat> sorry. Maybe you get together with friends or you attend some social event, but I definitely feel like happiness is, um, happiness is here. Money is also coming towards you. For some of you, it could be an inheritance, a promotion increase, um, lottery win. I definitely feel like your money matters. If, if you have money matters right now, I feel the windfall of things switching around for you. <clears throat> things getting a lot better. <clears throat> Maybe it's a settlement, so some insurance claim or something. Maybe it's an accident thing or something. I don't know. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Let me have a sip of coffee. Okay. What is Capricorn um, coming in the next 24 to 48 hours? All right, the full card. You're embarking on a new beginning. And I feel like this new beginning that you are embarking on is going to bring you a lot of happiness. You're deciding, I feel like you've been in your head about a situation, but you're deciding to take a leap of faith on something. And I feel with the sun card, that leap of faith is going to bring you in a lot of happiness. I feel like if it's a job that you're <laughs> thinking of switching, I feel like that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. If it's a new relationship you're starting, I definitely feel like that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. <clears throat> Maybe you get a promotion at work. That's going to bring you a lot of happiness. So take that however it resonates with you, Capricorn. But I'm loving that vibe for you. All right. <clears throat> Aquarius. What's Aquarius need to know? Aquarius, you're going through a tower moment in the next 24 hours, 48 hours. Feel like something's ending in your life, but you need to know that whatever is ending is only creating something more beautiful. <laughs> it's feeling like whatever is leaving your life has to go in order for you to grow, in order for you to move forward. You got to let this tower moment happen. It might bring about a lot of like pain and confusion for you, but it's an awakening and not all awakenings are very easy to deal with. Right. What is this? Um, what's coming towards? Yeah, you have love coming towards you. It's interesting, Aquarius. <clears throat> there might be a second chance with someone. You might lose a relationship, but then you gain another relationship. I don't know if you guys are dealing with a water sign, but I definitely feel like you have a soulmate in your energy, twin flame situation. It just feels like someone may leave, but someone new is like a right around the corner for you or coming in. Maybe you need to get out of your own emotions, get out of your own head. Yeah, things are delayed in your life for a reason, but they're delayed. You got to look at the situation from a different perspective because you're missing out on what is you're missing out. But it's like you're going through this waiting period. You're going through this harvest period. And I know it's this feeling of when are things going to get better for me? They're definitely going to get better for you. I feel like you have to be patient and just let things flow the way they want to flow. 
Anything else I can tell Aquarius, please? Anything else I can tell Aquarius? Anything else I can tell Aquarius? Yeah, Ace of Wands, take back your power and control. Be in this place where you're embarking on everything, embarking on new beginnings, embarking on thoughts, you know, moving forward, following new passions, wanting to embark on new beginnings, enjoying the new beginning. You have a new beginning on love. For some of you, Aquarius, this is a new beginning on love. But I feel like with that tower moment standing me in the face, it's kind of like you're afraid. You're afraid of getting hurt. So some of you are like really, really holding back. I don't want you to hold back because I feel like it could be an earth sign, water, and um, fire is coming through. <laughs> but I feel like this is exactly where you need to be. So don't hold back, okay? All right, Pisces. What does Pisces need to know for the next 24 to 48 hours? You, you got an opportunity coming towards you. Page of Cups could be an opportunity of love coming towards you with a water sign. You need, yeah, new beginning on love. New beginning is up ahead for you. I feel like whatever you're passionate about or whatever you're trying to create or whatever you're trying to get off the ground, I feel like there's going to be an opportunity where, you know, something is going to be presented towards you that's going to help you take you to the next level. Yeah, the emperor. So interesting, Pisces. I feel like you have a very stable person wanting to come forward, wanting to make a move with you with the Emperor card here. This is someone who knows what they want. They go after what they want. They're very passionate for you or they have like very um, fiery energy towards you. This person's very much into you, very sexually into you as well. Ugh. Anything else I can tell Pisces? Yeah, definitely King of Cups. Someone definitely wants to offer you something. They all they they want to offer you a relationship. They want to offer you something stable, Pisces. So I don't know how you feel about that. If you're ready for a new relationship, if you want a new relationship, I would say if I'm looking at this from a work perspective, there's an opportunity for you to work with someone who's very stable, or I feel like there could be like a manager position opening. Or if you're if you own your own business, I would say that it's about creating something new or bring something new into the business maybe i don't know let me know if that resonates guys thank you guys all so much for being here like and subscribe and hit that notification bell um i'll see you guys again soon